You're not watching scenes from another B-movie horror game. Nope, it's not a modeling game either. It is yet another... Time to play the game! W... W... E... Wrestling game. And this time, it is Raw 2 for the Xbox. All your favorite bad actors... I mean, WWE wrestlers are here. You can play as The Rock, Hulk Hogan, Goldberg, The Undertaker, Triple H, or this guy? Raw 2 scores well in the looks department. Each character's intro sequence will make gamers feel like they tuned into another episode of Raw. One of the main issues with Raw 2 are the cutscenes. Don't see the problem? Let me turn the music off so you can hear the problem. That's right. None of the wrestlers have voices. Maybe they want players to create their own dialogue for the wrestlers. Do you think I need more blush? Honey, all the blush in the world can't help your face. Anyway, the game may be called Raw 2, but you get to compete in WWE events, such as SmackDown, WrestleMania, Vengeance, Royal Rumble, King of the Ring, Judgment Day, and others. The Create a Superstar mode has more depth than most players could dream of. Watch how long this takes to create just one superstar. You have to select a name, a picture, background info, physical attributes, outfits, the music for entrance, the lighting, use your moves for standing, running, jumping, grappling, and whew, 28 minutes later, I am done making just one wrestler. The way you earn most bonus items, such as movie clips and different outfits, is really weak. You don't get them by winning matches. You have to steal them from players' bags when they're not around. I wish I were making that up. No one wants to feed gold dust smelly tights. Rod 2's gameplay controls are simple, but clunky. In addition, the AI is weak. The Rock seems to be confused by the lack of movement by the masked guy. Raw 2 had a lot of potential, but in the end, it feels a little too... Well, raw, as in unfinished. X-Play gives Raw 2 for the Xbox... One, 